I'm not a health expert, but I can read my data on Google Fit and Samsung Health. The other day I was checking both apps and even though there was just two step difference, Google Fit said I had burned 1216 calories and Samsung Health only showed 7. So why is there a difference and is even Google Fit accurate? Let's find that out in this video. One thing that must be noted here is that Samsung Health uses kilocalories and Google Fit uses calories with a capital C, which means the large calorie. And in terms of fitness, large calories and kilocalories are the same. After some research, it turns out that both use calories data differently. Google Fit along with your exercise also counts your resting energy as well as your regular task activity. The term is called basal metabolic rate BMR. So as the day passes, you see the increased calorie data even though you don't work out. This is the reason Google Fit shows much higher data because Samsung Health only uses your activity data. So what about the workouts then? To test that out, I went for a walk. I use Samsung Health, Google Fit and Stava to track my steps and calories. After a 12 minute walk, here are the results. Google Fit recorded 1302 steps and it displayed 62 calories in the energy expended data. The time it took was 12 minutes. Samsung Health displayed 1307 steps, which is very close. However, the total calories burned were 94, with 12 minutes as the walking time. I also checked Stava, but apparently the app does not calculate calories. I think maybe because I have the free version, but the step count was close. From those results, I calculated that Google Fit is accurate in terms of steps. But if we look at the calorie data, Samsung Health recorded 32 kilocalories more than Google Fit. To eliminate the confusion, I went to this online tool called Omni Calculator, which lets you check for burned calories. I put the same data on the website and it favored Google Fit. It displayed that on average speed, Covering 1300 steps will burn 59 calories and from my test, Google Fit recorded 62. It also showed that it would take 12 minutes for this walk and both apps displayed the exact time. But that does not mean Google Fit is accurate. Samsung Health measures more data including your elevation data and even though it was a flat surface, we see some variations and some of the recorded calories are because of that. In the next round, I tested Google Fit and Samsung Health in a badminton battle. I started the activity in both and left the phone for half an hour. Here is what both calculated. Google Fit recorded 277 calories and Samsung Health recorded 298. Samsung Health again recorded more burnt calories than Google Fit. This time the difference was 21. I did not compare this data with any other app as both use different algorithms to calculate the data. So is Google Fit accurate? From tests and comparisons, we find that Google Fit is accurate. Sure, it has anomalies because it's a digital fitness app. And because of that, it should only be used for rough estimations. Even though those apps are advancing, they don't know your overall health and your exercise patterns. With that said, this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please share your experience with the app below and enjoy the rest of your day.